Hey YouTube, what's going on? I in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to um install backtrack and run it on a virtual box. So yeah, let's get to it. Um so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to backtrack.org or backtracks little dash linux.org, click downloads, and then you don't have to register, you can just click download. Um, I got Backtrack 5 or 3 because that's kind of the newest one. Um, KDE, these, I'm pretty sure, like, you can get either. But, um, I got KDE 64-bit ISO. Um, this is, like, a direct download, kind of. So, um, just get GNOME because I feel like that would be better. 64-bit, then ISO, then direct. So, click the download. This will take a long time depending on your um, internet. Mine actually took like four hours, so and I have pretty good internet. Um, so once that's downloaded, I you will get an ISO image, which I have right here. And then you're going to want to click New. Um, name. You can just name the backtrack, I guess. And then I already have this, so I'll just do backtrack. I had I didn't have space so then you're gonna want to do Linux Ubuntu Ubuntu whatever you call it then uh, make sure to do Ubuntu 64 bit that's a big part of this um your RAM you can make it as big as you want I usually do like a thousand five hundred ish so next create a virtual hard drive now uh, virtual box disk image dynamical accolated I don't know how to say that whatever um this you can make as long or as big as you want um I usually do around uh, like 25 but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm only gonna do like eight because that's the default um yeah so once that's created uh you have to go to settings then storage Gotta wait for it to look. Then this controller IDE will be empty, and you're gonna want to click this little disk. Choose virtual image. Go all the way down to the backtrack 5R2 KDE image, and that will load up. Um, yeah, everything looks good. So yeah, then you can just start it up. Press enter, enter, then all this stuff will start to load. Uh, backtrack 5 with a cool dragon. The quieter you are, the more you are able to hear. It's pretty sketchy, not gonna lie. Um, this will load this will be done okay so then it gives you the command like you have to type so what you're gonna want to do is press start x and that will load up your um your iso image and actually make backtrack into a virtual machine and it will actually start to work and now it is working for some reason there's like chinese letters i don't know but um yeah so I'm just gonna wait for this to load up so now you have backtrack on here and there's terminal you can pretty much do everything it's it's something based off of Linux oh cool music I guess I don't know. um yeah so thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for more Windows 8 tutorials and, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.